Recently, WB Games Montreal released their official PC trailer for Gotham Knights. It was a really quick video, less than 90 seconds, and showed off features like 4K resolution, an ultra high frame rate, as well as ray trace reflections and XESS upscaling, which I guess is the Intel comparator to Nvidia's DLSS. Now with the game less than a month away, this trailer most likely increased overall hype for DC video game fans everywhere, especially those who own a PC, but the ones that own a console as well. On top of featuring the extended Bat Family, multiplayer co-op, and an original story, will Gotham Knights be a W for WB Games Montreal? Now, Gotham Knights has had DC video game enthusiast eyes on it since the announcement back at DC Fandom of 2020. And you have to remember that WB Games Montreal has not released a game since Batman Arkham Origins all the way back in 2013. It will actually be close to the nine year anniversary of Batman Arkham Origins when Gotham Knights releases. Now, the three biggest standouts that I see for Gotham Knights are as follows. It will not feature Joker as a villain, It'll be an original story and the multiplayer co-op. Now, the couple worries that I do have is that the gameplay we've seen so far has looked a little stiff in my personal opinion, and the traversal for each characters isn't as fluid as I would like to have, but this is only based on footage that I've watched, and we, of course, have not seen a final product of the game, so I will reserve my judgment until I play it for myself. Now, there are two places that I think Gotham Knights can stand out the most. And that is a smooth co-op experience and a captivating story to tell. This is a multiplayer game that I think people can enjoy with their friends other than Call of Duty or Fortnite. And on top of that, you get to go on an adventure as some of your favorite comic book characters along the way. Then if the writing and character development can be done well, that is the next big thing. If we can actually care about each individual hero and there's a lot of attention to detail given to every single one of the bad family respectively as well as the original story wowing us with whatever they're going to do i think that this game will be successful those are just two things that i think will win people over the most but overall i am sure that this is going to be a solid game at the very least i in no way think this is going to be a bad game necessarily i just believe that if wb montreal games focuses on the right piece of the puzzle that dc fans who play this game are going to be pleased now, what do you think? Will Gotham Knights be a win for DC gamers? Put it down in the comments below if you think so or not. And while you're there, hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more news on games, specifically comic book games. If that is your thing, I do enjoy keeping up with those. Now, Gotham Knights is included in my video, top five most exciting games left in 2022. So if you'd like to take a look and find out some more highly anticipated titles coming out in this last part of the year, go ahead and check that out. Gotham Knights releases October 21st, 2022, and I can't wait to give you more thoughts on it after it releases.